What's up guys, it's Ahmed Hafi here and uh, this is going to be a quick look at the new version of Easy Rain. So yeah, let's get started. So um, I've made a lot of new changes to this version which should be much better compared to the old versions. So uh, yeah, let, let's let's just show you quickly what's new here. So uh, let me add the, the uh, particle groups as usual. You can see now there's some kind of a console down here which tells you how everything works. So uh, without these groups, it will tell you please satisfy, please satisfy the two groups, and the the menu will not work. It will only work when you have two different groups uh, in here. The meta will immediately show up. And um, one of the things which is really cool as well in the new version is now you can have different number of metas with different sizes and different you know options in the same plugin so um, we can see that there is here con uh, an, an, an object parented to the main uh, plugin which is called full meta you can now copy that and move it elsewhere and you have a different meta you can even change the size you can have a completely different burst rate as you can see and uh, they will all be controllable using the uh, options in the main plugin which is really cool uh, you can see we can change their scale and all these stuff uh, also you can now have some kind of unlimited amount of colliders so um, here is here is a collider um, here's a collider object you can now add any object and just assign one of them to the plane here's a collider you can create another copy and assign a different object to it, to it. So uh, yeah, it's much easier now to add colliders to the plugin. You can see. Oh, let me just put that in place. You can see how it now works perfectly. Oh, you make it, you need to make it editable. Here we go. Uh, one of the also cool features that have been added is um, the time scale. So. Uh, I was asking a lot about how can you make the rain kind of you know go into slow motion effect and I've been able to achieve this effect but it's still experimental so you might see some few issues there so uh, yeah let's take a look here's the time scale you can crank it up to 100 and the rain will stop zero you can make it slow motion you know all these stuff which look pretty cool if you animate it, so let's let's do this pretty quickly. Let's set this to zero. Here, set it to hundred, and then gonna here, and here we'll set it back to zero. So you can see how it works. Here we go, and then it goes back again, which is looks pretty cool. One of the things which is it's been added as well is the wind. So let's take a look. Let's take a quick look in here. So uh, here's a wind. You can turn it on, and now just crank up the, the strings. You can also select um, what should the rain the, the wind affect. So it can only affect the rain and it only affect the splashes and you might want to make it only affect the uh, rain. You know you can have all these options here. The same thing is with colliders. You can tell a specific collider not to generate splashes which is pretty cool as well. So uh, Oh, and the ripple shader support. This is now, this has been added as well. So let me show you quickly how it works. So here it is. If you add a ripple shader, I believe it should be added in the bump map. Here it is. Mm, effects ripple. All you need to do is go into this ripple group and just drag this, put it under particles. And now the objects, just put in the object you wanna. Set triple two, and it should work now. So let me do a quick render in here. Here we go. Okay, so here you go. You can see now that the uh, ripple shader is working, as you can see. I believe that uh, yeah, there's nothing else to talk about. Um, yeah. So uh, yes, this is gonna quick look. That's a new version and how it, will wo it, it works and what's new in here. So, um, yeah, there's a plugin is available on my website. You can go and get it. 
and uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.